What I started off by doing was to think about how stable and how strong the structures of international cooperation, particularly in the financial area, have been. Because many people, I think, have made the argument that what differentiated this current crisis from terrible episodes of financial instability in the past, like the Great Depression, uh, was that international economic coordination, financial coordination, is much better and much stronger now. They look at things like the April 2009 uh, G20 summit in, in London. Um, and what I wanted to do was to inject a note of skepticism on this. It seems to me that that particular instance, the April 2009 summit, was indeed very, very important at a particular moment in stopping some of the most destructive tendencies in the world economy. But since then, we've actually got a big problem with international uh, financial and monetary cooperation, and we're really not doing all that well. I, I thought we had a really very, very interesting discussion of the kinds of problems that are involved in uh, working out a really, really difficult situation in, in Europe today, where uh, Academics overwhelmingly are saying one thing uh, that we need some kind of sovereign bankruptcy mechanism, and many people in the political world and in the ECB are resisting that, that view. This was an extremely productive uh, discussion of the viewpoints of both sides.